in the middle of a match from the first play of day when I get the news. Of course, then it came more, uh, more kind of uh, actual or kind of uh, came to my mind. And then, uh, but uh, yeah, the decision has kind of come in there, and we haven't really talked about it earlier. But uh, after the season, I, I knew it that this is one and only decision what I have to make. I will continue my chemotherapy. So second cycle, second cycle in uh, in uh, this Friday, this coming Friday again, and then again the the break break week after that one, and then we go keep on going on a cycle all together 24 and 24 weeks, and so to the to the September, and so that's the that's how it goes. That decision I have to leave to the next staff, next coaches, uh, how they want to do. If I'm uh, if I'm able to help and he thinks it's worth it, I'm more than happy to do it. I still know majority of the guys and pretty well. But of course, on the other hand, I want to give a full full freedom for the coach to decide and then say, yeah, it's better to stop and put everything and we we do our ways. And I I, I will have a fully respect on that one if that's the case. And they think it's better for sure, no problem with that. Yeah, of course, because uh, I, th I think it was, uh, yeah, of course, more emotional, but it was very important for myself. I knew the treatment started and uh, I know what it takes to take the treatment and uh, it was kind of, a, I could turn it other way, not fully concentrate on the treatment. Of course, I did that one as good as possible, but on the same time, I know that, okay, I have some happy place to go, go with the players, go with the staff, go with the coaches, and then uh, win, win some hockey games and enjoy these times fully. And then uh, the... The, the treatments will go on after that one. Then in that time, I already knew it's going to take a long, long way. And so in that part, it was a, was a good short term. But of course, I knew it. it's not possible to do it on the long term.